Hi, I'm Nathan Wright, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make building uh, building structures that are easily adaptable through uh, 3ds Max, and then using the HyperClone uh, script. So to start off with, we're just going to start with a box and do a very simple uh, plain structure or floor slab. So go a bit bigger, and it's going to be a very thin slab. Um, and then we're just going to start by modeling some columns. So we'll go another, actually just go cylinder. We have these pretty small. Oops. Try that again. Just click and drag and then extend up to the tool. I'm going to always just lower the radius after we're done. Just like that. Now I just want to uh, copy these and I'm going to copy these as an instance. So we're going to select it, go Control V. Uh, and we'll go, this window will pop up. Now this window is um, quite important as it will define how your copy is, um, how it will interact with its other clones. So if we do a copy, it will copy the cylinder up and it won't uh, be related to the other um, copy of the cylinder. If we go an instance, it will uh, be, like identical to the other cylinder it's been copied from so any changes made back and from either cylinder it'll be made cha it'll change both cylinders and if we make it as a reference the um we made changes to the master so the original cylinder it'll change the cop the clone of that cylinder but if we make a, a new uh modifier to the uh, clone cylinder, it will not affect the master or the original cylinder. So for this one, I'll go instance, OK, and then I will move it along out of this one to the other side, and I will select both these, control V, and copy as an instance as well. And then we will drag it to the other side. Easy as that. Um, and then I'm also going to just maybe put some very simple stairs into this model. So uh, stairs, here we are, uh, straight stair, and I will drag it like this, like that, and then lift it up to the height. So we've got a very basic kind of look at Boussier's domino house going on here. Um, so now I'm going to select all of this, um, modifier and then go hyperclone. Uh, let's say we want this seven stories. I will bring this down. Go to the uh, since we go went to clone one D. We'll go down to this uh, offset one D and that will um, offset the clones we've just done. So if we go on the uh, what is it Z axis. It will go along the Z axis and this becomes our floors. So we can pull this up until it uh, sits on the existing floor flat. There we are. And then we have like a very basic structure but it can be adapted through, um, through the height. If we want more floors, we can put more floors on it. Or if we want it to be lower, we can do that. We can also make some more changes as well. So I'm gonna um, cancel this hyperclone modifier, so delete, and then I'm going to copy control V. Now I'm going to copy as a copy so it doesn't change the other um, clone it does. And I'm going to do three different iterations of this, so control V as well, copy, and then drag it out, another one out. Oh my god, hang on. Do that again, control V and copy, okay. And drag it out. Oh, fuck. 
all right, so we have two different things. So now say that we have a very fussy client and he wants everything to change and we need to make things up very differently. So if we want to say we want this to be bigger, we can get the floor slab to be bigger, change the width. So we go that way, then maybe length as well. Also, we can make it a bit thicker as well. No. Yeah, uh, and then we can also change the uh, distance between the columns. Oh, there's some more columns in here, why not? Let's put some more in. I should get rid of these. And we'll drag these out as well. All right, so now if we want to hyper clone this again, we can have it now. Our building will be much bigger. So go hyper clone. Uh, let's say we want five stories tall, and then we can go to the uh, 1D offset panel, and then on the Z axis, lift this up. And now we have uh, a much larger building. That was easily adapted. So if we do it this one here as well, if we make this one the same, our original one. Uh, have a clone. So let's go 10 stories and offset this. There we are. And now say that um, this is not good enough, they want the uh, columns or something to be super ornate and different. So then now we can change these columns. So I'm going to click on this one here. Uh, I'm going to go make this, um, the radius bigger, just change all of them. How about we get a, say, a taper on there? Uh, let's go taper at the top of the large. Maybe curve, make these big curvy ones or something. And let's go a lattice as well. And change these. So we've got some pretty nuts going on. Um, make these rounded. So we go to the struts, change the struts. So this changes the, um, the uh, long parts that connect to the points. So struts will change the Sides will change the number of sides on this stroke segment. So here we've got a four, so it went three, so it's basically a triangle. And the more we add to that, the more cylindrical it will become. Um, and then also segments can change the amount of segments that go onto it. Um, now, if we go into the joints, we can change the different types of joints we want. So tetra, um, octa, or oc icosa. Um, at the moment, I don't really like the look of this, so I'm probably going to reduce this down very small. So we drop the radius to maybe till none, although it's not visible, and we don't need to change it anymore. And then maybe that seems all right. Uh, and then now, if we want to hyperclone this as well, oops. We can do that as well. So maybe let's go. Let's see it, and we can also scale this up as well. So let's go three on clone two D, and then also uh, let's go five on one D. So one off offset one D is what we did before. So just changing the Z um, offset, change it up. Oh, a bit laggy. To what was it? Three meters before. Let's get that up. Type it in. Got minus three meters. For some reason, the hyperclone always goes the opposite way for the z axis. Don't know why. Maybe a little bit more. 3.3. That's all right. And then also with offset 2D, we can change it on the y axis to get this building like a, a larger building with the more columns. Let's change it to 
five meters. Maybe eight meters. Maybe let's go six. That's all right. That's good enough. So here you can see how through some simple techniques, just using hyperclone and also the copy um, commands, that we can change the way our structure looks very quickly and also make some quick modifications as well. Thank you, that's all I've got to show you for this video. Bye.